I done got my mushroom onion mix. Now I'm about to put it in the pan. You want to get your pan similar to this? That's Momo in the background. Okay, one cup of water. Cream of mushroom. Then you want to get your other can of cream of mushroom. And you want to dip it in just like that. Just nothing hard to it, you know. Just Put that in there. <laughs> then you want to take a cup of water for every can. A cup of water for every can. Remember that. Take the water. Come on up here, cameraman. Let me show you something. Now this is what it should look like. You want to take your fork and whisk it around. I'm obviously recording. You want to get this around and make sure everything's good for your roast. Because this is going to be the bed that the roast lays in. So you want to make sure that it's coated. Don't mind my older son. He's the one that's hating on the video. Uh, so you just want to stir it all up. You see that juice? Only if you could smell that juice through the video, you'd know how I feel. Keep it real. Can I show the cameraman? Yeah. This is the cameraman. Hello. This right, is Brian Henderson. Like now put it on pause, and we'll get back to you after I got the roast searing. That's gonna Welcome back to 555 Daddy Cooking. All right, come on up here, cameraman. <laughs> Welcome back to my show. I had to go pay some bills and keep it real. You feel? <laughs> All right. So what we gonna do is we got a little butter. You wanna have your roast. You wanna use tiger seasoning. You wanna have your black pepper. And you want your Worcestershire. And these are just the basic necessities to get you ready. So let's go ahead and start off by, I got my pan on. Just a little bit, you wanna sear the meat first. You want to sear it. And just to be healthy, make sure you wash them hands. So what we're going to do is just like anything, you want to start off with a little butter. You can use any kind of butter. I was supposed to get some other kind of butter, but hey, <laughs> you know I Still got butter. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to get some butter. Drop it in and melt it a little bit. You can put, you know, a little, little serving because, hey, this is a big pound of meat. So... You want to whip it around, whisk it. Just whisk it good. Hey, come on, man. I need good footage. So why are you focusing on the meat when I'm making it on the pan? Excuse my eight-year-old cameraman. So, we're going to go ahead and melt the butter. Let that melt a little bit. And we're just gonna, while that happens, we're gonna take a fork that we've already used. Just keep your eyes on me when I'm moving, all right? Keep your fork. And we're just gonna puncture the meat, like so. Just gonna puncture the meat. And obviously we know what this is for, but if you don't, we're poking it so we can get the juices and the motion of the ocean inside the potion. So, obviously the side that you poke first, you want to put face down. So we're going to drop that on in here. Mmm, look at that roast. Look good, don't it? Okay. Just going to keep poking it. Keep poking it until you're satisfied. I like to poke it all over the, all over the meat. Mmm, 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 good. I got that from somebody else on YouTube. What, baby? Uh, yeah, we're not at a commercial kitchen. We're in a real house, so you're going to hear voices and everything else coming that you would normally hear in the family's home. First thing I like to do is some pepper. Then I got a little tiger season. I drop on that thing. Yeesh. Make sure I'm getting some good views. Thank you, son. Thank you, son. Video credits by Baby Boy Bones. Okay. So, 
We got it peppered good. We got some good tiger going on. I'm going to crank the heat up just a little bit. Just a little bit. You want to do it. You know, my oven goes by number, so I'll get it right about seven, seven and a half to get a good sear on it. Drop some of that Worcestershire on it. Now, normally I use another brand, but they didn't have it at the store, so we have to go with another brand. <clears throat> so, we're just going to keep it like that. And we'll get back to you here in a second and show you the brown product. Okay. And we back. So what I've been doing is searing this meat before I put it into the pot to make the process a little shorter when we put it in the oven. So uh, if my cameraman can direct yourself to the meat, what I did is browned it just a little bit. I seasoned it as well with all the seasonings I showed you earlier. And uh, now you see it's brown and ready to go to town. Body brown. <laughs> Don't do that. Put that back on the meat. So what we're going to do is just take this meat like this and put it right in our pan that I put the cream of mushroom and we're just going to let it take a bath for about an hour and a half. <laughs> just going to dip it in there. Make sure it get real sopped up. You want to sop up all the good juices because this is really 70% where it comes from right here, the cream of mushroom and things of that. We're just searing it, like I said, just to quicken the process a little bit. I like to stab it a little bit more when I when it's actually submerged in the water just to get more even more juices and uh, we got our potatoes you can't go anywhere without potatoes so we got the potatoes and we just gonna dump them right in here with his brother mr. roast <laughs> so we gonna do the same thing for the potatoes Get the potatoes real submerged. I mean, we want everything in this juice. This is the golden pot. This is it. We want to get everything covered up. We got the oven set at 350. And got it warm. We're going to throw this thing in the oven. About an hour, hour and a half. Just check on it. Probably at the hour mark. And I'll bring you the finished product. <laughs> five, 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 daddy. Ha <laughs> ha.